What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. This is Shopping the Internet Now. On this channel, we do creative product demonstrations and in-depth product reviews. Today, we're looking at Mac OS Monterey on the Apple M1 MacBook Air, and we'll show you one key feature with one distinct advantage to make this machine not only more productive, but even more entertaining. Let's go ahead and get into this creative and unique product demonstration so you can get a good idea how to play games on iOS on your MacBook. So about a week ago, Apple introduced two new laptops to their Macintosh lineup, a 14-inch MacBook Pro and a 16-inch MacBook Pro, all of which have CPU and GPU upgrades over the previous generation. And last but not least, Mac OS Monterey. Now in today's video, not are we going to talk about the new features in Mac OS Monterey because there are plenty of other videos out there that show you in depth the many new features Mac OS Monterey has to offer. So today we're taking a look at one really cool and exciting feature. Like I said, on this channel, we do creative demonstrations and in depth product reviews. So let's take a look at AirPlay to Mac and let me show you just one creative and fun and interesting way you can take advantage of this loophole. So AirPlay to Mac is as simple as AirPlaying whatever is on a secondary Macintosh computer, an iPhone or an iPad and mirroring that image onto like we have in front of us here, the MacBook Air. So as you can see, doing a screen recording on the MacBook Air, we can see that the iPhone is projecting or mirroring itself onto the MacBook Air through AirPlay to Mac, which is a Mac OS Monterey specific feature. Now, this is great, obviously, for all kinds of different productivity features. But of course, I think the most interesting loophole is playing video games. So roughly five or six, maybe seven years ago when the iPad third generation was out, you could from time to time, use your phone as a controller and play games like FIFA or first person shooters using your iPhone as a controller and using your iPad as a display. But with AirPlay to Mac, as you can see, uh, playing this fun action game, Carpet Bomber, as you can see I have to dodge enemy anti-aircraft rounds and missiles and have to shoot uh, tanks that are shooting at me on the ground as well as uh, other troops that are advancing on allied positions, right? But as you can see, uh, I can actually focus on what's on the screen once I master the controls here without having to look at the phone. So one really cool feature of Mac OS Monterey is of course this entirely new AirPlay to Mac feature, which as you can see is great for playing games using your phone as a controller and using the MacBook Air as a display. And it does a phenomenal job of doing this too. Uh, so maybe controls on the phone are just a little bit difficult or cumbersome at first to master, but if we actually check out a more in-depth game like a flight simulator where on-screen controls, you only use them probably a fourth or at least a third of the time. Let's go ahead and check out this simulator on my iPhone, not available for Macintosh, but playing it on a big Macintosh display. So, of course, it takes a little bit getting used to having to uh, select the options on the phone, but let's just go ahead and quickly demonstrate how easy this is to use and take advantage of and have fun with. So Apple, you know, of course, is always about leveraging uh, these features so that creative people like myself can use them. And this is no different. For, so as you can see, what is on the iPhone display is perfectly matched up on the Air display, on the MacBook Air, excuse me. This is actually too exciting to even uh, present. 
So let's go ahead and lower the flaps here. This is actually called Carrier Landings. This is a really cool flight simulator game. As you can see, we've got full afterburners and we're gonna take off from the flight deck of this aircraft carrier. So for about the first couple of seconds here, you gotta look at your phone and bring the flaps up and bring the landing gear up. But as you can see, well, I think maybe we uh, flew that mission wrong, but I think you get the idea. You can pretty much use the uh, display on the MacBook Air to pretty much play video games on your iPhone. So like I said, uh, with a flight simulator like Carrier Landings for iPhone, it's actually sort of easy and fun to use this flight simulator this way. Uh, it's a much larger display and because there are no on-screen controls other than the landing gear and the flaps, which I don't need until I come back in for a landing, uh, as you can see, the mission here is to actually follow this uh, fighter jet, which is our guy, he's our friend. But like I said, because there's no on-screen controls, uh, it's actually a ton of fun. So like I said, the mission here is to follow this guy. And as you can see, just by uh, maneuvering the uh, iPhone here, I can actually control the airplane on the display on the MacBook Air. So one of the downsides I think you can tell is the graphics are just a little bit more pixelated. They're a little bit uh, dull. Of course, the dynamics of this game are pretty incredible. I love how you have to uh, fly this uh, sort of just by flipping the aircraft around and rolling it around in order to get it to pitch up and down. But because the display on the MacBook Air is LED first and foremost, it's an IPS display, and because the game is actually optimized for the iPhone, you can tell the graphics are just a little bit smudgy, I think, on the MacBook Air. But uh, for the most part, it looks fantastic. It's almost passable. Uh, it's pretty much identical, but yeah, as you can see, with this game in particular is a fantastic example. Uh, this is just super fun and a really cool loophole, I think, to uh, AirPlay to Mac that Apple did not mention. So now the goal here is to land on this uh, runway. As you can see, we're flying over here. Uh, we're gonna just pretty much loop around here and uh, bring the aircraft down. So I was going to put the gear down, but we're actually flying too fast. So let's go ahead and just hit the uh, air brake here. Come down from about 800 knots to 600 knots. As you can see, we're at 3,000 feet. Slowing down to 500 or so knots. We need to be about 250 knots to bring the gear down. As you can see, if we lower the gear, uh, we can get it down now, but earlier it was telling us we were flying too fast. So we do have full flaps in, in, in place. And act, as you can see, we'd actually line up with the runway here. But just being able to play on this large screen, and all I have to do is mirror the image from my iPhone over to the laptop, is just incredible. So uh, we gotta keep the plane here at about, well, right now we're too fast. We gotta keep it under 200 knots. We're at 260 knots, but we've got full flaps, full gear. Uh, we should pretty much be able to slow down. We have to clear this hill here, and then the runway is, of course, on the other side. So. 230 knots. And what's really cool, as you can see, you can actually adjust the volume of the MacBook Air, even though it's not the device that's playing the game. And there we go, we'll hit the brake there. Perfect, perfect uh, 
landing there right on the center line. We got off the center line just a tad there, but 70 knots, 50 knots, 40 knots, 30 knots, 20 knots, 10 knots, and stop. So there we go. That's pretty much that. Really cool. And then just to escape uh, airplay to Mac, uh, it's just escape and you basically turn uh, the iPhone off. So anyways, guys, that has been just a really cool, fun, creative demonstration of AirPlay to Mac, a feature on Mac OS Monterey. As you saw, we demonstrated how seamless and how fluid the connectivity between AirPlay to Mac and your iOS device is, regardless if you have a 120 hertz display or an XDR display, a base model MacBook Air. This is the 256 gigabyte, seven core GPU model. I think you saw just how great both of those uh, technologies worked together to let us play and have a little fun with just our phone and our computer. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to get notified when I post to YouTube. Also, check out the main channel, which is Shopping the Internet, where we redo or where we do unboxings and first impressions and try ons of all kinds of different items. But on this channel, stick around to get the long term reviews on those items. Thanks again so much for tuning in. My name is John. I will see you in the next video.